Welcome to episode six of PVTV, where we talk all things solar and answer your solar questions. Today's question comes from Shaq Janeiro. Thanks for your question, Shaq. Hi guys, I learned, thanks for your videos. Thank you, Shaq. I learned quite a lot about the industry with you. My question is right now for an average family, is it worth for solar systems with a battery or should we wait for the prices of battery to come down a bit or lower a bit? I'm thinking of buying just the panels with a battery ready inverter and wait for the battery market to be a bit more competitive and the prices will eventually go down. Firstly, thank you, Shaq. Great to have you on the show. Um, we'd love to answer this question for you. Ross, <laughs> what do you think about people waiting for batteries? It's a question we get so often, like, should I wait for batteries or should I get solar and batteries now? It's a good question. Um, I think it's interesting because if we look at the cost of batteries, yeah, uh, and I'm talking good well-known batteries yeah tesla LG, tesla lg those guys yeah uh the price hasn't come down all that much since they got released like we and on, on the current models in say the past what 18 months two years yeah so on the current models so it's been a question since batteries first came out should i wait until they get a little bit cheaper but the reality is they haven't actually come down that much in cost there's been more competition come in mm -hmm. from other manufacturers and uh you know everyone wants to get a on board the battery train now, mm. um, but it, yeah, is waiting a good idea for it to come cheaper? To become cheaper? Well, if anything, they could actually become more expensive. And this is what we've seen in the last, probably the last six months or so. So just recently, Tesla have raised the prices of their batteries by one or two grand. That was in the news last month. Yeah. Um, LG batteries, like for us to install batteries as a company, our costings of batteries have gone up over the past two years. Yeah, and they've actually so it's gone actually up. more expensive to get a battery now, slightly than it was two years ago. Yeah, um, and this is for a whole range of reasons. One of them being that lithium, from which the batteries are made out of, and probably will be for the next foreseeable amount of time, yeah. is not an infinite resource. It's it's a precious resource. In fact, it's the price of lithium's gone up like maybe I yeah. don't know, a lot of times since the introduction of batteries for people's homes. So the price of batteries is probably going to increase somewhat over the next few years yep. and continue to do so over the next five, 10 years until a new product yeah. becomes available, a new technology becomes available of which um, we haven't reached um, awareness of yet, yep. or at least not at scale in the consumer market. Mm. Um, so in terms of, let's, let's talk about, aside from the fact that they're becoming more expensive so far batteries for homes um, over the past say two years. Do you think that, let's answer the cost saving question. Yep. So the return on solar panels is very fast. Mm. How, how long would you say your average solar system will go from installation to paying itself off in for your average family? On average, about four to five years. Four to five years? To save you, yeah, given um, it's well suited for the average family and it's sized well and priced properly. Yeah. Um, four to five years, I think it's pretty reasonable expectation. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you might get really expensive equipment um, that has longer warranties and that might increase the mm. return on investment period to maybe yeah. another year or two. Um, so these are the factors you weigh up. But on average, your average family, average size solar system, five or six kilowatts, you're looking at about five or about five years, yeah. four or five years return. With with different government rebates, this is even faster. Like with, with the new Victorian rebates, for example, we're seeing people with returns yeah. or should expect returns of, you know, two years. Yeah. So it's it's pretty crazy the, how fast the return on solar is to the point where it's about 20%. Yeah. A year. Yeah. It's like putting your money in the bank and getting back 20% a year was what a five-year return means. So that's that's a really good saving. Yeah. Now on batteries, it's it's not the case. It's not as fast the return on your battery. Yeah. Um, we see people with what five about seven years return with Around the battery years, solar. Yeah. So it does increase that that payback period. Tell us about the warranties of batteries, Ross, and sort of how long um, from when you install you can expect that a battery to last in your home on average, a Tesla or an LG quality battery. What are you looking at? Yeah, so the pretty um industry standard warranty, I mean between LG and uh, Tesla is ten years. Ten years. So ten years 
and it doesn't mean for 10 years you get a straight replacement if anything goes wrong yeah the output um, reduces it's it's an output warranty similar to the solar panel performance warranty mm -hmm. where LG basically say for the next 10 years mm -hmm. the capacity of the battery should only drop by a certain amount each year yeah and if it drops any more than that over the 10 year period then they'll replace the battery or do whatever needs to be done at that time yeah um, what's available at that time to at the time, yeah. either replace the internals of the battery or give you a, a solution yeah. that honors yeah. that warranty um tesla warranty is the same yeah 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 and what about other brands they have shorter periods of time or less performance shorter periods of time different amount of cycles so cycle is people um uh, charging and discharging the battery different ways some so, people say it's charge up and down some say one charge up it's one cycle one charge down is one cycle yeah um, but that's how they determine how much life you're going to get out of the battery by cycles and an estimation on a quality battery so the warranty on a quality battery solar battery is about 10 years what's yeah. the expected expected a lifetime of say a tesla or an lg battery around six to ten thousand cycles yeah um eight thousand I think between LG and Tesla, around where they're at. Yeah. Um, what are we talking? Ten to fifteen years expected life. Yeah. If we were just to average a cycle a day. Yeah. Then it's around ten to fifteen years. Yeah. yeah. And and that's to think about. Like it can be more uh, than that. Um, it just depends. The more you yeah. cycle a lithium battery, the faster it wears out. So yeah. if you're really running your battery hard, yeah, um, you'll sort of be on the lower end of that. If you are um, kind of only cycling half your battery each yeah. day, you know, you'll get a lot more time yeah. out of that yeah. battery and that even that lithium batteries are such great technology because if you look to what we had before lithium which mm. was lead and gel like and car batteries that, basically that we're talking you know two thousand cycles and you can only discharge 40 50 percent of the battery yeah we jumped to lithium which was like minimum six thousand cycles yeah and you can charge down to 90 percent of the battery yeah so so what we're saying is awesome yeah the warranties are good yeah. 10 years um the the expected runtime of a battery is 10 to 15 years at least yeah you know it can be more uh if you're kind of conservative with it and the actual capacity of the battery compared to car batteries and that sort of thing mm. that we used to have um you can use a lot more capacity so if you have yeah. one kilowatt of a car battery you can only use a certain slice of it yeah whereas with lithium if you've got a kilowatt of lithium you can you use almost, use the, full almost the full slice yeah so in terms of technology it's really good um in terms of payback periods what are we talking like we're talking solars four or five years yeah maybe fast with rebates what's it how do batteries go for a return on investment assuming we're not buying them to protect ourselves from blackouts mm. or to go off the grid yeah well that's that's an interesting question because on paper if you just calculated the kilowatt hours you get out of the battery versus how many kilowatts you're paying uh, it looks like the return on the battery, it, it doesn't. never seems to sort of add up. Yeah. It looks like the return is going to be 10 to 12 years and you're looking at that going, well, my warranty's done. But what we've found through installing the batteries and yeah. what actually happens when the battery goes in was um, a pretty interesting outcome. Absolutely. Is that it, the return um, is a lot better than that because people's usage changes so much once they have a battery. Mm -hmm. So a battery... With the battery system, you always end up getting some sort of app to monitor the battery. And, and batteries work a little bit differently in that, like we've, we've explained it a little bit in a previous video, but they don't just discharge power. Like a like solar system will just sit there giving out power all day mm -hmm. on your roof and you, know, you don't really need to monitor what it's doing. You can just trust it's just giving power all day. A battery system will only discharge to what the house is using at that time so it's got a little measuring clamp and can measure how much power your house is using and because of all that you get an app where mm. you can see it mm. so you can see how much power your house is using and having that knowledge mm -hmm. really changes the way you use your power mm -hmm. and you're trying to always keep as much battery power as possible mm -hmm. um, and what we're seeing is people are getting you know getting whole nights out of batteries whereas the yeah. stats would have said they would have only if they did the numbers on paper mm -hmm. it might have said you know you, you get two or three hours out of the battery but yet we're seeing full nights because they're being really careful with their energy usage and turning things off and they're seeing when their power's spiking and mm -hmm. being smart about their energy yeah and it's a good way to make a battery 
um, go a, a, maybe a small size battery or a battery that fits like a glove for your house go a lot very long yeah. way. And you know, uh, we're seeing we've seen some extraordinary results of people with crazy usage getting solar and batteries, like yeah. talking up near 100 kilowatt hours a day, um, and getting solar and, and you know 10, 20, 30 kilowatts worth of batteries. And then that's allowing them to find, because the battery and the solar and the app, it's allowing them to find the wastage mm. and find out where they're using electricity they don't need. Um, and these people are uh, changing their habits to match the battery. And it's equaling a very yeah. fast, very, very fast return on the yeah. investment. Um, like a direct one-for-one -one, um, return on investment for batteries is, is probably about the warranty period of the battery, would yeah. you say? Yeah. So like you, you you will be unlikely to lose money on the battery even if you just didn't change anything. Yeah. Um, but naturally, we waste a lot of power in in, yeah. in Western society where you just don't even realize. And um, it goes beyond just turning the lights off. There's so many different factors from heating and cooling and, and you know, obviously washing machines and stuff like that that go into this power usage. Yeah. And giving people an app and a battery and solar um Almost all our customers who have that set up adjust to a certain extent. And you see returns on batteries and solar of seven years, some are less. I've seen returns of three or four years on yeah. massive battery systems, massive solar systems, which is like a 20 or 30 grand outlay for some people who have heavy power usage. And they're getting a return on those systems of, you know, five years, yeah. which is extraordinary. Um, but for others, you might not be using that much power. You might not need a battery. And mm. we talked about that in the last episode of PVTV. So batteries have they don't have a faster return as solar itself. Yeah. Not counting in the rising cost of power. Um, batteries will at least like very conservatively have a break-even period on their warranty. And then you should get another five years out of the battery mm. with a declining efficiency after that. Yeah. Um, but the key to it is not only having the batteries in the solar, but being able to monitor it yeah. and actually see what you're using in real time yeah. um, and then changing behaviors and usages and, and turning things off in the house that maybe are wasting power to make the battery last all night. Yeah. And this is so possible to do. And we have so many customers, like really so many, who um, are getting zero dollar electricity bills. Like literally they're in credit with the power companies because they've got batteries and solar. So whether or not you should to answer the question of whether you should wait, um, I would say that, you know, uh, if are in is in waiting, are in waiting, are you in waiting? Yeah. Going to save as much on the battery. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As so you are going to save you, on the power. You're going to spend that money anyway. Yeah. You know, if I say let's wait two years, uh, we'll see if the battery comes down. For example, thousand dollars. Yeah. In that two years, you end up spending two thousand dollars. Yeah. And the battery comes down five hundred dollars. Yeah. So you didn't actually save anything by getting that saving. Whereas if you got it. Today, if it was if it was well yeah. suited for your home and you and you could make some good savings from the battery, then you're making a better saving getting getting it now because that's not money you actually you get to keep in your pocket. You're gonna spend it on power. Yeah. So you're giving it to someone. Yeah, it's got to go somewhere. So. Yeah. And the good thing about having a battery with your solar as well is you get a fixed energy price. Mm. So the fact that prices of electricity are increasing exponentially. Um, for as long as you have your battery for 10, 15 years and beyond, depending how you use it, um, you've got a fixed energy cost because yeah. you're storing the power you're creating and then that's what you're running your house on from nighttime to morning. And with some small behavioral adjustments in the house, you can get that battery to go all night and you'll run you know, 90% plus off your solar and batteries and have very, very small electricity bills. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, you've got to size the right battery for your usage. You need to consider if you need a battery, if you've got really low usage. Like we talked about my mum last week. Yeah. I actually recommended to her that she didn't get a battery. She was asking me about it. So she just got solar because she had such small usage. Um, so whether or not you should get a battery or wait for the price to come down, the answer is that you're going to be spending the money anyway. So if you're going to be in the house mm. for the time that warrants it, um, look at getting a battery because it's going to um, lock in your electricity price yeah. for at least the next 10 years, if not beyond. Yeah. Um, and it's a, it's a really secure yeah. investment. And on, as a side note, you can have things like blackout protection and yeah. that just to protect from blackouts as the uh, as more of our power plants start to shut down and, and stability in that. So that's just a, something handy to have with the battery as well. Absolutely. The stability of the grid's been in question where more of us, especially in the outskirts of you know, Melbourne, here in Victoria, or in rural areas, I know here in Victoria, I'm not sure what blackouts are like. You know, in New South Wales, we do a lot of installs as well. 
uh, what people around there are experiencing at the moment. Mm. Um, but you know, here in Victoria, it's become quite unstable. And so blackout protection, being able to run your home from the battery when there's a blackout, which isn't a standard feature um, of a battery, um, for those of you who watch the show would know, um, is a way to protect yourself from yeah. that and keep the lights on during the blackout. Cool. Thank you so much for watching episode five. Six. Six of PVTV. Shaq, thank you for your question. I trust that helped you understanding a bit more about whether or not now is the right time to get a battery. Have a great day. Bye.